Good morning and welcome to Clayton Art Club. Um, so today we've got um, uh, obviously our free art lesson and, oh sorry I'm on the wrong screen. <laughs> um, so today we're on, um, I forgot what I was saying now. Yeah, so welcome to Clayton Art Club. Um, today we've got um, an art session of course today and also um, next week we're also starting face-to-face -face sessions. We're going to do some um, clay kind of Wallace and Gromit style um, animation um, as face-to-face -face sessions so you can book on them um, so you can see that on the Facebook page but for now um, obviously we're just going to be doing an art lesson um, we do these every Monday um, I decided to do it at 10 o'clock today just to um, I don't know to see if it suits people's times a bit better than half nine and it also means I'm slightly in less of a rush even though I kind of was this morning um, as you can see a few minutes late but that's okay um, so um, I've got my paper I've got my pens um, I'll just show you my drawing screen so you can see it it's a bit washed out I do need to fix this um, I thought I had fixed it in the settings but maybe I haven't so if you have oh sorry wrong screen I'm just on my little thingy um, so someone's messaged me, but I can't actually see who said that, which is annoying. Just on my little Ooh, thingy. Sorry. Um, so someone's messaged me. Let me just see who that is because annoyingly, oh stupid thing. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. If you um. Yeah, stupid thing. Okay, sorry about this. As you can see, I'm still working this thing out, but um, I'm stuck on this and I can't actually see the comments because it doesn't tell me anyway. So let me just bring that up again so I can see who is commenting and then I will stop looking like a lemon if possible. Screen. Like a lemon. No, it's possible. There we go. Oh, so it's Nick and it's Matthew. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> right. So, um, if you guys want to tell me anything you guys want me to draw for you today, please let me know. Um, hopefully, the sound is working this time as well. <laughs> you can tell I'm a bit flustered. So, I'll just quickly show you some of the things we drew over the last live streams. So I think you remember this guy, Gumar the Black. We drew the robot. Drew a raven for some reason, I can't remember quite why. Oh yes, last year, last week we drew the um this little bad boy. And this week we have a blank page, so if you guys have any suggestions, things you want to draw. Um, feel free to tell me and I will obviously draw them for you so so let's grab the pens and pencils can you see them? Go on to full screen so you can see. So I've got my pens and my pencils. I will wake up in a minute. I have had a coffee, but I think I've left it in the kitchen, which is probably why I'm slightly flustered this morning, but it's all good. Okay, so Matthew, Nick, have you got any suggestions on what we might draw today? Something exciting, I think. I've also got some of these pens as well. Nice biro. I like drawing my biros. And I did have a white pen somewhere. There's the white pen. So I'm going to start with a little doodle just to warm myself up so 
So I'm just going to start with the shape of the head. And I'm using a very bad pencil there. I'm going to jump onto my 7B. I'm just going to get the overall shape of what I'm going to draw. And you can probably guess what it is, so I won't tell you what it is. So what I'm doing is I'm just establishing the main shape and the form of the shape. So if you think of it as the head of the creature, using a slightly harder pencil now. Do apologize for the noisy chickens in the background. We've recently had um, little baby chicks um, and we're just introducing them to the big chickens and they're a bit flustered by the whole experience, I think. So I'm actually going to jump straight into pen because because I am start with the <laughs> yeah we get a couple of eggs we get um, we used to get up to three or four a day from five chickens uh, one of them passed away the other day um, so my little boy was pretty sad about that but um, we do normally get maybe one or two a day um, uh, so we've got four chickens and we've got like three little chicks now so um, yeah it's good but if we don't eat eggs for a while they do seem to rack up a bit so and you probably guess what it is So as you can see the way I drew this was I started with just the overall form, just started with a circle for the head and just carried on the neckline down. So if you want to see my reference picture, this is a photograph I took. Um, hold up a bit. So this was over at the lake behind where we live up in Clayton and um, oops, someone said hello, let me just see who that is. I can see your, I can see your comments, but I can't see. It says group message, so I can't see who actually sent it. So, if you just bear with me a minute, I will. Just wait for the comments. To... Oh, hi, Carol. How are you doing?
So if you guys have any suggestions for what you'd like me to draw for you guys today, um, just let me know. Hope you guys are having had a good summer and everything. And um, I guess a bit like us, we're just getting used to getting back into everything and. So this looks really small on my screen, I don't know why. It's my swan, I know, it's not brilliant. But it's it's good sometimes to draw something you're not always drawing, just to, just to kind of warm up, just to kind of get your juices going. And sometimes if you draw something that you're not used to drawing, um, a good way to just get yourself warmed up I guess. So. Oh, Matthew. Well next time you come Matthew you can uh, you can take a load of our eggs if you want there. Fresh as, a, fresh as anything. I think they taste nicer but um, yeah nicer than shop ones. So yeah, that's that's a really quick swan. That's nothing, nothing spectacular really. But that's a good way of just warming up, I think. So Matthew's just said, "I love it. I love to eat eggs." <laughs> They are yummy. Okay. So I've just done a random swan portrait. What I'm doing now is I'm just shading in the background just because I'm aware that swans are bright white and the paper's white, so I don't want to like cover the whole paper in just white. Um, Mr. Swan. So uh, come on Matthew, I know you've got some brilliant suggestions of things you want me to draw. Do robots, I like doing robots. I can do dinosaurs, dragons, cartoons. If you find something that's really hard to draw, like hands or feet or faces, we can have a go at that, we can pick up some skills. And um, also, if you're drawing alongside, feel free to share it on the group page. Um, I'd love to see what you guys are drawing, um, what you're passionate about drawing, and stuff like that. So I will keep doodling different things that I would like to draw until I hear your suggestions. Sounds okay. I do want a fresh piece of paper though. Ravage. Okay, so I'm assuming that's. Do you think Ravage is a good idea? So, Ravage. Who's Ravage? Is Ravage from. Is Ravage the guy we drew before? No, that was Gundar. I don't know who Ravage is. You'll have to educate me, I'm afraid. Ravage. Is that from Star Wars? Ah, oh, Savage. Ah. Uh... I don't know Ravage. Don't 
Do I need to look it up? I'm happy to have a quick look. Let me see if I can look it up. Ravage. Bringing up some kind of ape man or something from Marvel Comics. Is it a someone? Oh, Ravage from Transformers. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, that narrows my search down. Okay. Transformers. Oh, cool. The the dog. The uh, not the dog. The panther. So in Transformers, there's a guy called Soundwave, and he's got a big. He turns into a cassette player, or in the new one, he gets turns into something else. I can't remember. I think he's like a spy plane or something. And he has these. In the old ones, he had a cassette that came out, and that transformed into different things. There was a guy who did like a thumping thing. Um, but the new one from the new one is looks like this. So it's kind of like a spiky dog thing. Um, that's what it looked like in the olden days. Um, like a little dog thing, but very, very cool. And that's that's Soundwave with his pets, basically, because he's got a bird one as well called. Ooh, I can't remember what the bird's called. That is a very cool idea. So let's do that, definitely. I'm going to even turn my keep the paper that way. I'm going to start. My chickens are making a racket. I don't know if you can hear it on the live stream. Maybe they just want to take part. I don't know. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a stick man just to get the framework. So, I'm going to start with the, the horizon kind of thing. I'm, I'm drawing it in pencil because I'm not too. It's not too important. And I'm going to start, so I'm, I'll show you the picture I'm going to use as a reference. So it's a, probably a bit different from the one in the film, but I quite like this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the form. So I'm going to start with here, and I'm going to draw a curve that shape to be the forearm. The other leg comes down like this. And then between them, I'm going to have a spine that goes like this. And then do the back legs sticking up, and then we'll make it look all robotic and cool with shading and things. So um, I'll try and do it in a way that you can work out what I'm doing. This is going to be the front foot. It's going to come quite a low angle, like he's doing this kind of prowling thing because he's a dog even though he's like a robot dog or a panther thing so but then he's a robot as well so these this is the this is the framework of him this one's a bit more at an angle and then his body comes behind and his head comes down with a long neck a bit like a hyena actually in some ways and then his other shoulder will be here coming back crossing over underneath but if we shade the back leg that will be better that's the one I meant it's from Bumble oh it's from Bumblebee is it okay so Matthew's just told me that it's the one from Bumblebee. I, I don't, is that a comic or is that a new TV show I'm missing out on? So this is his back legs. So even with robots, you can um, you can follow. Screaming outside. Well, 
My chickens clearly want some TLC. I'll go and uh, give them some after this stream, I think. Okay, so this is the gist, and I know it looks a bit weird, but what we're trying to do is get the overall shape, and then we will. Oh, chickens, chill out. I'm sure they'll chill out in a minute. So he has a kind of rocket launcher here and this drawing that I'm using. Oh, it's the latest Transformers movie. Oh, I don't think I've seen that one. I think the last one I saw was... The one with the... With the dinosaurs. The, that one. Oh, those chickens are so noisy. We do feed them, honestly. So what I'm doing now is, because I'm drawing in pencil, it doesn't matter too much because I'll go over in pen anyway, but what I'm doing is I'm just trying to establish the form. So I kind of just bulked out these leg bits, just kind of to where I want to be. And is that the sound of the chickens really annoying? Because I can turn the volume down a little bit if you want, so it just pick up me. I know it's annoying me. Just starting to build up on the face a bit more, and I'm just trying to. That Transformers Extinction. Yeah, that's right. That's the one I was talking about, the one with the dinos. Now, when I was a kid, we used to watch Transformers the movie, which was a cartoon. It had some real cool retro music. Um, and in that one they had the guys called Sharker Cons which were quite cool they were like these savage guys that turned into uh, sharks and then there was um, the Dinobots led by uh, uh, I can't remember his name now Grimlock yeah Grimlock who was like the T-Rex one Let's just say he was a bit simple, but he just was awesome and would defeat them by eating them or stuff. So this is my overall form. So starting from that stick man, and I followed the spine kind of thing. I think the other one has a tail, so I'll just add a tail onto this one. Um, I know Ravage is in one of the other ones, one of the older ones. Um, I think my chickens have calmed down now. I hope you can forgive the deviation from the one in the film, but... It 
so once I've got my kind of drawing into a place where I kind of I kind of like it, I'm going to jump onto my old friend the brush pen. Um, but you can use a biro. In fact, just to show you, I'll use biro today, just so that you guys can use any old pens. So what I'm doing is I'm just going over my forms that I've already drawn. I don't know if you guys can see it all right. I'm just starting to add detail. Oh, who messaged that? It someone's just said brush pens are my favourite. Let me just see who said that because Oh Tyler. Hello Tyler. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise it was you. I thought it was Matthew speaking because. So, what I can't actually see who's written the comments unless I've got my stream here. So, I do apologise, Tyler. I didn't realise you were there. Is 10 o'clock a better time for you? Um, I know half nine, you can sometimes be a bit. Huh. Says on here my broadcast is being interrupted. I hope I'm not losing frames with you guys. Let me just go back to my image. So Matthew and Tyler, if at the end of your messages, if you could just put an M or a T, just so I know who's speaking, that would be awesome. So I'm just starting to fill in what I've done with pencil. I'm going to jump back onto brush pen, I think. For me, it's just a bit quicker as well. Chickens seem to have chilled out now. They were being really squawky earlier. That's awesome. Thank you for putting a T at the end of your name. I now know who's speaking. Um, I don't know why. Like I'm using this new Steam technology. I don't know if it's more of a hindrance than a help, but it's pretty cool. Um, I can switch between views like this <laughs> and then I can go all viewing like this I can add my clever overlays like this um, so it's pretty cool it's quite handy um, but when I see comments it comes up with group messages like this that Hang on, let me just fix that. See, I can uh, I can bring up your messages as well. So if someone wants to read what you said, and if someone was on YouTube, I could get their comments and pin them up as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, So I'm just starting to fill it out with a brush pen. And what I'm 
doing when you're doing robots is just to they can be organically shaped but also trying to give them just a little bit of um, squareness to it so like this piece here is two metal pieces sandwiched together with all the mechanism inside so these two bits of the armor and you have all the inner workings so you can kind of mimic that when you're when you're drawing And the cool thing about drawing transformers is you can just add almost mini patterns to in between areas and it just looks cool if I do say so myself so I'm just again I'm just going over that form that I originally did with pencil So Matthew, uh, not Matthew, Tyler's just said the other day I tried to draw Wally but he just ended up looking like an Amazon package with binoculars on top. <laughs> well, uh, you know, that's probably pretty accurate to be fair. If you want, we could do that after this one if you fancy it. Try and draw Wally. I quite like Wally, he's quite cool. It's animation at its best in terms of little quirky moves and I think as well when you're trying to draw something well known it your whoever yourself and anyone looking at it will always be comparing it to the original like you know if you draw like Iron Man or something like this everyone's gonna say oh it doesn't look like that or, <clears throat> oh you know it looks a bit different or that doesn't look quite right Whereas if you draw your own like Iron Man equivalent of something else you know like a robot guy people don't have that kind of ability to say that doesn't look like Iron Man because you can say well it's not Iron Man it's my own thing so it, you're it's always harder when you're drawing something else so again I've used the pencil drawings as my kind of base for the proportions and I want these necks to look a bit thicker if I'm honest and I kind of want these areas to be quite dark Oh, so you ended up redoing Wally and it looked a lot better. Well, I'd love to see it. If you want to send it to me either privately or share it on the group, I'm sure everyone else would like to see it as well. So this is his um, forward-facing missile rack, whereas in the, um, in the film he had two barrels on his tail, I think. got into doing character crossovers and those are really fun too. Have you looked at, oh, I forgot what it's called, Pop something. It's a YouTube channel by a really talented guy and he does some crazy crossovers. He does like what are Marvel characters if they were dinosaurs so he does like Captain America dragons and 
Iron Man dragons and um, does some crazy stuff. Pop cross, that's the one. Pop cross, yeah. Yeah, it's really fun that one. I think I recommended that on a different um, on a different stream. I mentioned him. So yeah, it's Popcross Studios is the one that does crazy cross crossovers. So the chickens have been quiet now, and now the dogs barking. You just can't get the staff, even though we don't actually have a dog, but I can hear it. It's there somewhere, hopefully not near my chickens. So what do you think of this? Do you think it's looking all right? Can you actually see it? Am I covering it up with my hands, aren't I? kind of zone into drawing, it's such a relaxing thing to do. I mean obviously it could be stressful if you really want something to look really good and it's not playing, but I quite like the pop cross where he gets a load of Pokemon and then draws them as dragons or something? Or does he do Marvel as Pokemon or something? I can't remember quite what he does. He's done some really good ones. So for the under bit, I'm going to just fill that in with black because in shadow and I don't need to really detail it as much and it kind of reinforces that that's the back leg almost I'm going to shade that in in a minute what I'm going to do now is just dial in the detail I think so just a case of adding lots of texture Thank you, Matthew. So Matthew's just put that it looks all right. Um, bring up that comment. And um, if you like robotic dogs, um, there is a really cool computer game called, what's it called? Generation Zero, which I've played a little bit of. And in that, it's like the robot apocalypse. And um, evil robots have taken over a place in a Norwegian country, I can't remember which one it is maybe Sweden, I can't remember and um, so you get these like robot dogs and stuff and these giant robot mechs um, and they're really cool like this, there's this one and it has like a petrol, like it has its fuel source on top and if you shoot that um, 
it blows up. So it's a good way to get. Um, it's their weak spot, but um, it's like a shooter game. So, but it's yeah, it's called Generation Zero. So I'm just adding needless detail now. And then I'm going to start shading. So the way you do with shading is obviously you think where the sun's coming from and then you just shade the bottom part. <laughs> so it's pretty much that simple. But when you think of but then you add all the complicated parts of that. So so underneath here would be shaded but then the light would get to the side so I like to do this with quite a soft pencil and it gives an almost metallic kind of finish to it So if you come back onto your biro now, you can add some crazy little details that are just nice. So I often like to draw just a little place a holder of the direction the sun's coming through and then I can look at it and imagine so the sun's coming slightly from behind and in that way you can just bring it out and then you can bring because of that I know that the shadow will come forward a bit had the chickens and the dogs screaming and now we've got seagulls <laughs> crazy what's gonna happen next squirrels I think it's just outside in a thin art room you can just hear everything was in my uh, office where I used to do live streams it was a bit quieter, wasn't it? Right, let's have a look at my picture. So there is some red highlights on this. Um, and the nearest pens I have are these, which do tend to soak through if I'm not careful. So um, I'm sure you two remember these pens. They're awesome. I'd like to get a few more colours because after a while you just feel a bit limited. Like sometimes you want to do like shades between reds and greens and stuff. If you've only got one shade of red, and these ones don't really, um, they don't really merge well, so you can't do layers. They're not like Coptic pens, which I do have actually. Maybe I should start using them a bit more. Just add in some red highlights in places just to. I don't know, emphasize things. And then what I'm 
going to do is come back and go around some of those areas that I've been a bit loose with and just make it look intentional. So I'm just going around. I don't know if you can see here, but like here, where I just put those red marks, I'm just going around with a biro just to. That's great. There's a movie called AXL with an awesome robot dog. Oh, cool. And then Tyler said, I recommend pens called Ohulus. They work well. They work just as well as Coptic and are less than a quarter of the price. Oh, I'll definitely check them out. What are they called? Oh, her. Oh, I'll check them out. I've written them down, so I'll remember that in theory. In fact, I might write it on my hand. Oh, uh, uh. Cool. Right, I am going to grab some silver and I'm not going to use it much, use it quite sparingly. I just want to make it shiny in places. Just as a little quick detour for a moment. Would you guys like to see something very cool? You can get a uh, brush which if you Okay, cool. Check this out. So this is my new phone case I made out of leather and I coloured it up. Oops. Right, let's switch to this one. So you've got uh, stuff in there, you've got the uh, thing for your cards. I've just glued this normal case onto it. So I've got um, the Mandalorian spaceship, what's it called, Moff Gideon's spaceship, and then I've got Mando there. Cool, huh? Looks really grey on this screen, I know. I will f try and fix that for next week. I know I promised that last week, but... But, yeah. I think what I'll do is next week, and I said I'd do this last week and I didn't, is swap cameras, because this camera is a fixed lens, whereas this one is, like... Hang on. A zoomy lens. So if I put the zoomy lens on this one, I'd be able to zoom in a bit more and show you a bit more where, and, I, and it would look a lot more colorful. Whereas, I don't know if you can see the difference, it's just looking gray really. So Tyler and Matthew, just in case you didn't pick it up at the beginning of the stream, um, I'm doing face-to-face -face sessions again and we're going to do animation again. Um, so that's starting next Monday. So that's Monday at 2 o'clock and there's four sessions, but we're not doing it on the 4th of October, which is the last session because... I'm away so we're going to do it the week after so that'll be the 11th so if you're interested in that it would be very cool um, and we're doing animation a bit like you did last time Matthew with your dino ones so if you're interested in that let me know um, I'm probably going to do a questionnaire at some point just to find out what 
themes and topics you guys might be interested in but obviously if you want to tell me now if you've got any ideas of things you'd really like to do workshop wise um, and also like maybe what times of day suit you as well because um, yeah I want to be flexible to you guys as much as possible oh, yeah, that's pretty cool actually Silver on the teeth. What's quite cool is if you get it at the right angle, the silver kind of reflects the light in the room. So you can. I could do with a really fine one of these. Could we do comic illustration for one of them? Yes. So that I'm guessing that's Tyler who said that. So you, Tyler. Um, I'd definitely be up for doing comic book illustration. We could get some stuff that's really good for these. I could get some different pens. You could even bring some of your own if you wanted. What's this? I've got to go now, but thanks for doing the session, Luke. Oh, okay, thank you. Um, yeah, it was tea. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that was you. Okay, brilliant. Uh, lovely to see you, Tyler. Um, I'll post a picture of this later. If you want to share your Wally picture, if you're feeling brave, or any other artwork that you're doing, please do share, because, you know, I like to see it. I think everyone else does as well. Same goes for you, Matthew. If you've done any and you want to share it, I'd love to see it. If you want to share it privately as well, if you don't want to show the whole wide world, or if you want any tips or feedback on any of your artwork, let me know, because I'm interested. Right, what time is it? Oh, five minutes to go, so I'll just finish this one off. I've only done one today. Cool. Oh, hang on. I've carried on drawing and I wasn't even on the right screen. What a twit. I do apologise if you uh, missed out on that part. I'm just adding orange highlights because I have an orange gel pen on me so it's having orange highlights if I had a blue one it would probably be getting blue highlights right now jump on the eye biro and neaten up the edges on this What do you think, Matthew? Do you think comic book illustration would be a nice one to do? Definitely be up for doing that one. I mean, obviously, I'd go through the basics and help you guys if you don't feel confident doing something that ambitious. But um, I'd definitely be up for doing that. Oh, you'd be up for it. Awesome. Yeah, well, I'll think about doing that one. Um, jump on this pen and press really hard so this is a 7b again and I'm just gonna really dial in the shade now and that'll probably finish it for now so just where the shadow is just really dial it in presumably they could choose their own characters 
cartoon character. Of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can draw whatever you want, you know me, but I know I'll help you along the way. Um, yeah, I think that'd be really cool. Comic book illustration, yeah. like a genius idea do you have any of the ideas of things you'd like to do Matthew like either things you've done before that you'd like to do again or you know more of this like graffiti or more drawing or more sculpture things or bit crazy here done as I've just gone over the top in those pens and they kind of go over everything else and I'm just going to use draw around this to make it look like a kind of this kind of cloud of fuming I don't know dog breath I guess and as that dries I can then go over with my bold pen but I wouldn't do that straight away because that would contaminate the end of your pen I think camera's gone off okay I don't know why one of my cameras has gone off but that's probably <laughs> probably okay guys I am going to call it a day now I think I will share this on the group and stuff um, I know I've escaped why that camera's turned off I think it's probably just run out of battery um, thank you so much for coming and I will see you guys in fact hang on cool yeah so my other camera's basically gone to sleep so I think it's run out of battery so cool all right take care guys and I will see you in the next one okay thank you bye